And we are back with the Fox News alert. Select Russia banks are now blocked from the SWIFT banking system. We've been talking about that for several days now. It has finally happened today. Jackie Heinrich now at the White House with a live update. Jackie. Hey, Aisha, that announcement coming in from the White House that the U.S., uh, the EU, and other NATO countries are moving to block select Russian banks from the SWIFT international banking system and also targeting the Russian central bank from deploying its international reserves in a way that might undermine uh, the sanctions that have been imposed against Russia. Now, this is a more limited deployment of the so-called nuclear option. Um, however, the, the notice from the White House ends with a, a message, a warning, that uh, the group of allies is willing and ready to impose measures even further than the steps that have been taken today, which are, by the way, quite significant. The SWIFT international payment system is what basically every bank in the world relies on to make and receive payments. It is a, it's a messaging system sort of described as like the Gmail of banks. Without a connection to SWIFT, these banks that have been blocked will now have to use a telephone or a fax machine to make a or receive a payment from a bank outside of Russia. They've also targeted nearly 80 percent with this, these sanctions of the Russian banking sector. So we are going to see some significant impacts come out of this. Aisha? All right, Jackie Heinrich, live at the White House. Thank you, Jackie.